Andrew McCaw, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here with my boy, Kurt Cogano and Levi Chili Dunn. Yes, well, wait, 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 first of all, let's, let's, why are you sweating? Um, I'm sweating because I've been on a run. Uh, I've got it here. Let me show, show the camera. Uh -huh. Let me see if I can get in there. Two seconds. Oh, it's gone off again. It's, if you can see it. No, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit. There we go. Oh. My arms are hanging. Oh, good There you go. Yeah, so what we got? Oh, where's it gone? It keeps going on. There we go. Just under two miles. Uh huh. Um, six minutes, eleven seconds a mile. It's just to get the heart rate going. You know what I mean? Mm. Just sat two seconds. Two seconds. Let me get that mic on. I'm trying to fix my camera. My yeah. It's to get the heart rate. Yeah, it's just to get the heart rate going. We always do it before the fight. Do you know what I mean? They're just sat about in the hotel rooms. It's no yeah. good. You know, gets it, gets them going, gets some, gets the highway going, gets the sweat on. It's what he needs. Sitting in all canaries, he's next door to me in all canaries on his Xbox. Where are you? Shouting, <laughs> screaming. Do you know what I mean? The guy's mad. So, uh, you took the you took the fight on short notice. Cause yeah. this seems to be what you do with your boys. Yeah. Your boys are always ready. Your boys are always fit. So Levi, I mean Mace, I just interviewed him literally. 10 minutes ago, he seems ready for a fight. I've seen you at the couple of MTK shows. Yeah. You come to fight? Yeah. Uh, so can we expect a fight? Yeah, of course, it's always a, a fight. Sometimes the, sometimes it's harder than it is, um, but as more time goes on, the better I get. So that's no, how I feel. Obviously, in your first fight, when you first met Andrew, you had an hard fight. Oh, Remember yeah, when you boxed a Scottish kid? Mark. You know, it was a tough Mark, fight for his yeah, first Mark fight. And too. to be fair, it would have been a four-rounder. It was, it was 20 seconds to the end, mm. but he was just the inexperienced. But he's gone on from there. He's boxing a kid who was... Like, you know, he's, he's a bit more of his level and, you know, he went the distance with him and, and it was a pretty close fight. So, you know, I think this is a good fight for Levi. You know, the similar size, similar weights. He's a bit more experienced than Levi. I think he comes from an unlicensed background, yeah, which is no, Queen's... Uh, Thai boxing. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, I think he boxed in the Queensbury League, but that's like a... Oh, it's, a it's a good league of boxing yeah. and, you know, Levi's come from unlicensed, but he's a gifted kid and you'll, you'll see that tomorrow. You'll see a big difference from when you last seen him anyway. Yeah, 100%. I mean, that Mark, he's, he's good, isn't he? You yeah, know, look what... Did you see his last fight against yeah, uh, yeah, Brad Dodd? Yeah, yeah. It made me feel a bit better yeah. watching that. Oh, did it? Yeah. Because <laughs> I think I slept. you know. Make sure you say good things. No, no, yeah. no. I, I, I'm, I'm a biased jock. It's, it's always good things, like, when I watch that fight and he, what he'd done to that guy, like, mm. made me feel a bit better, but his quality, Mark, and it's, 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 like, I can't take any, anything away yeah. from him. I mean, it's actually a good yeah. experience going in with a top kid like that, you know. Yeah. Levi, what I did at the time, it was lockdown. There was no fights anywhere. He'd been in the gym all year, and it was the only fight there for him, you know. Mm. Bless him, he did do well it was you know it was an hard fight um, but Levi now is a different fighter from what he was then yeah. 100% well Kurt it's like you when like you used to just fight every single week against top prospects like yeah. all the time yeah. all the time you just fight the biggest and baddest prospects coming yeah. through you right and all I wanted for you every time I spoke to you uh, at ringside or backstage or whatever I always said can you not just fight somebody that your level get that win like, like why did you never do it why did you always take the fights um, I don't, do you know what it is? I, I, I love helping the promoters and, you know, the, my dad was a journeyman, I was a journeyman. And it's, you know, when they phone you and you can help the show and, you know, I, I know how much they need you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I want better for, for my fighters. I want better for Levi, do you know what I mean? I do, but he wants to fight. He's in the gym every day. Um, like, yeah, I always used to say I'll get down to middleweight and all that, but I tell you what, it killed me just to make 12 stone 10. It killed me. <laughs> you're smaller than me. Honestly, <laughs> I went in with some giants, mate. You're, like, you're massive, look at the size of the muscles, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do well, you look very well, and uh, you know, big Curse, thank you, bro. you're a top man. Thank you, bro. Thank yeah, you. Man. So, like I said, that the curse, like we used to speak all the time, is my phone gone? Um, we used to speak all the time just to get him that win. I always wanted to see Curtis get a win. Do you know what I mean? But uh, for you, are you are you taking these fights believing that you can win not just become you're not just here to make up the numbers yeah, you're no, going in there to win aren't you yeah yeah of course like i wouldn't do it if it was like i could make money doing something else could go get a job if it was just for the money do you know what i mean uh, but i just like to fight i love to fight um and yeah that's why i'm here like, to, be, yeah. to be fair, I, I, when, when he rung me and I looked, at, I, I know at the minute I wasn't going to take an hard fight. I mean, we was training because he's fighting in, and he's got a pretty hard fight on um, a Frank Warren show on the 27th. What's he called? The kid you're fighting? Um, uh, what's I, his, I name? his name? Umar Khan. Umar Khan, which is a very good kid, but it's that a lower weight because really Levi's only a super bantam weight, really. But, you know, nine stone, that's where he's at. Um, he's got a, a fight at nine stone, which is in three weeks. So we was training for that, but he was fit anyway. He's been in the gym since Christmas. Um, and, and, you know, this kid here now, I just feel like it's a good fight for Levi. We won't, we won't be here if we didn't think, he, you know, he could, he could win. Definitely. So what can, what can we expect from you tomorrow night then? Uh, I don't want to say too much right now because I could tell you one thing now and it's completely different. I always have to adapt um, when I'm in there because I could have what I might. I don't want to think about it too much. 
Um, same with, but not every, honestly, like when a spa. Is there any brain in there? Is there a brain in there? <laughs> when a spa. Go on, get it out, get it out. When a spa, like I don't really want to think about it too much. I'd rather just go with the flow and whatever happens. Like I, I mean, I'm, I'm of a natural mover, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I, I don't really want to say I'm going to do this. Obviously, put, 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 I, have you know a, I have a few set shots what I've been working on more yeah. and more. And if, when I've been sparring, um, the shots what I've been seeing and I've been practicing at home, they've been coming off in sparring um, yeah. and I've not fought yet. So hopefully tomorrow, the shots I've been trying in sparring and I've been practicing at home, shadow boxing and in the mirror and drills, um, they can come off tomorrow as well. But like I said, it, anything could happen. Like what's in my head, the, his style might not work for that well, and I might have to adapt. This is the thing, yeah. I don't know what you just said then. But anyway, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> you're, you're the coach. I'm only joking. Well, I'm saying it now. Do you know what the thing is though? He's got the same style as Levi. They actually do box the same, mm. pretty similar. Do you know what I mean? So it's going to be a bit of a, an exciting fight, but Leah, I told Levi he's just going to come and bring it. Yeah. So there's the game plan, boys. It's a fight. Bring it. It's yeah, a fight. It. It's a fight. You've you, got it. That, that's what I'm after anyway. I'm, I'm always... Uh, for a fight. I told you I'll give you first win. <laughs> get, get, listen, get down and by the way. I'm on me. I'm not fighting you. I know how do you train. <laughs> I'd have to lose a good flipping 20 like, stones. The fact, state your way, I'll come you up to you. put some weight on them. I'll come up to you, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, leave I'll me come, I'll come up to him. Why are you always trying to get me? Leave me out of it. Now, nah, I told you, mate, me and you, I'll give you first win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take that. that though. <laughs> I said, you can take my push and everything. You'll go missing. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, I won't keep you much longer, but, uh, you know, like, you've got more guys that you, you train and stuff like, and you always, like you say, you like yeah, to help the promoters out. You've always helped MTK and other promoters out for, with your fighters and stuff yeah, like that. So, MTK, well, well done to you and well done to you Curtis as well for doing this you know what I mean you're the, you're the sort of like the the bread and butter of boxing for helping these kids a, thank you for giving us a shout mate you always do big respect to you you're doing great keep it up thank you very much Curtis thank you. and Levi good luck tomorrow night my champ thank you I'll uh, see you tomorrow as well Definitely. thank you good luck guys and uh, see you tomorrow cheers